Hey everyone, I'm Suhit and I'm a student at USC currently on a gap semester. I've been working on something pretty cool with the browser company, which I think you'll really like. So if like me, you've ever used Blackboard before, you must be pretty aware of all the pain points that the website presents. The biggest one being just how bad it looks, but I have a solution for that. So Arc has this really cool feature called Boost, using which you can write your own custom CSS or JavaScript and make any part of the internet feel a bit more you. Now, before I dive into the specifics of why I don't like what Blackboard looks like, let me give you a sneak peek of what it looks like once it's been boosted. So this is a My USC dashboard using which I access all the services here at USC. And I'm just gonna navigate to Blackboard real quick. Well, wow. this is what I look at when I open Blackboard on my computer. Pretty cool, right? But let's get back to reality for a second. So on the regular version of Blackboard, there are two home page buttons, or rather two nav bars with two home page buttons that lead to the exact same page. There's an add module, a personalized page, and a reorder page button, which are like settings. Why do I see them every time I'm on the home page? There's also a logout button, which I'm pretty sure no one uses. They just close the tab at this point, right? And I could go on and on, which brings me to my second point. Blackboard is a Goliath website. And I needed some sort of base design to begin with. So I figured, you know, I go to USC. Why not just use this base design? Most of the elements are pretty similar. For example, I still have this photo here and I also have a profile. Shouldn't be too tough to write a boost for it, right? Well, it was not that easy, but we got through and now we have a Blackboard that feels like a transition into the same ecosystem of USD versus some absolutely alien technology. And I think I did a pretty great job. See, I also have the USC here at the top and I have a profile button right here. I also removed stuff that I talked about. For example, the two nav bars are not one. <laughs> And I also removed all of these buttons. Now, here's something my friends talk about all the time or complain about all the time. There's this thing called courses on other systems in Blackboard using which you can shorten the URL text for any course that you have. All you need to do is copy the link for this course for or for like any course that you want to shorten the name of and go to the settings page right here. Once you do that, scroll all the way down and type in the name of the course that you wanted to shorten the name of or rather the name to and then paste in the link on the right side. This should add a course to like courses on other systems. You can also remove the course from the base system. And once you click on submit, that course is hidden now. And that seems pretty cool. So everyone should definitely do that, I think. Now let's dive deeper into the boost itself. So, this boost was pretty extensive to write. It's like 421 lines of code. And it's all just CSS, just styling with an insane amount of different class names and different ID values, which I want to introduce right now. So how do you take the boost that I wrote and edit it to make it a bit more suited for your needs? So I'm going to give you an example, right click on the page that you're trying to edit and click on inspect. After that, click on this cursor selector button right here and hover over whatever 
you wanted to edit. For example, let me show you how to edit this module title right here. So I'm just going to click on that. And I see that it's a class name called module title. So I'm just going to copy this class name right here. And I'm going to navigate to the boost and then command F and oops, guess it didn't copy and then search up whatever I was trying to edit. So chances are probably written some sort of boost for it, for that particular component already. So once you find it, you can change whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to experiment with the font size. So let's make it two. And as soon as I type it in there, the website reloads with a larger font. But I'm going to make it smaller again. And there we have it. You know a bit about how to edit Boost now. You can also write your own custom JavaScript, which I had to for making the navbar into one. And also add your own fonts to a website. All you need to do is copy like a font link from Google fonts or Adobe fonts or something, and then paste it in here. And then you also need to change the name of the font right here. Once you do that, it'll change across the website. Which brings me to sort of my final point for this video. These variables are pretty handy. And so is this key. Keep an eye out for both of them above like most of the CSS elements that I've written. So warning is pretty important. For example, I used warning to hide the add module reorder and the personalized page buttons. If I want to see them, I can just remove the CSS right here and it'll show up again, but I don't want to see them. So I'm going to put that back in there. And now coming to variables. So remember, warning is important. Variables. For variables, basically, these are like colors that I picked for the entire website in different places and the font that I picked for the entire website. To change the colors, all you need to do is hover over any of the color that you want to change. The Boost editor has a really cool color picker. So for example, I wanted to make the school colors blue. And I can just do that right from the color picker. I can also obviously like paste in my own colors or hex. And that will work too. But now that we've started blue, let's change the entire thing to that color. Okay, that, that's pretty good. And I'm also going to change the top menu bar to that color. Nice. Lastly, I'm going to make the page a light blue color. Whew. And this doesn't only change for the website on this page. It's all across Blackboard. So help libraries all the pages, same colors. Only thing that you need to do is edit them right here. Let's try a different color. How about pink? So I'm going to use a darker pink color, actually. OK, that's a good one. And I'm going to paste the same color there and change the top bar to pink as well. Lastly, I'll also change the page background. OK, now I have a pink blackboard. But it doesn't look as good, right? The black would look better if it was white. And you can change that too. So this text right here, just change it to white. And it will change everywhere that's relevant. Pretty handy. Lastly, let me implement a different color palette 
something like orangish. Okay, not bad. Okay, and finally, page back. And obviously you have the default colors right here in comments to go back to and start with, again, if you get lost. Either way, this was Blackboard with a Boost. I hope you enjoyed, and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with, how you remade Blackboard, or any part of the internet for that matter. Until then, peace.